Most people on my channel would like to see a PC build or like a keyboard review since it's a tech channel, but does anyone ever really review these on a tech channel? As important as the PC is, your car is pretty darn important too, and I think you guys need to invest in a dash cam if you guys haven't already. So today we're going to be reviewing the VV-Link T20X. So right off the bat, I'd like to mention that this is priced at only $29.99. So I will have a link to it down below if you guys want to check it out. So let me tell you what you guys are getting for $30. This webcam records at 2.5K, which is basically just fancy for 1440p. It is definitely a step up from 1080p, but I am unsure if it is full 1440p or if it is upscaled. It does come with a 3-inch IPS screen on the back. And then the actual camera has a f2.3 aperture and this just helps it give it really good night vision for at night if you're driving around and people are trying to t-bone you out of nowhere it has a 170 degree wide angle lens as well it has loop recording the g sensor so if someone tries to do a hit and run you're going to be safe because you guys actually have a webcam that gets into a hit and run and doesn't have a webcam it is a must so on the box you get it in you get the camera itself and the mounting mechanism and a very long mini usb to power this up i will be showing you how all of this worked in my car and how i set it up in a moment then after that i will have some dash cam preview footage if you guys would like to see that it's basically just me about getting hit head on pretty fun to see so back to the actual camera there is a micro usb slot on the very top and it's pretty easy to put it in there you just click it in and it stays we do have a lot of buttons on the side we have a menu button and then just some navigating buttons right here we have a okay button if you just want to say okay or if you're in a menu which would probably make more sense just click okay on whatever you want right here we have an m which i assume stands for mode down here we have a little lock button then down here we have a on button and it does come on automatically. As soon as power comes to your cigarette lighter, this will power up and it'll turn off whenever you turn that off. Right here, we could see the mini USB. It's not hardwired in there, so if you mess up the USB, your camera's still good. The mounting mechanism they gave me was pretty awesome. It's a suction cup type of deal, and most suction cups I've used in the past just fall off in this crazy Texas heat, but this suction cup actually works, so props to them. Just stick it on your windshield, and turn it to that lock position and you're golden. You have several ways to adjust where it is as well, and it is very sturdy when it is in place. It's not gonna be flying around. Alrighty, so if you guys are wondering how this installs, all you have to do is plug it into a cigarette lighter. So I have one up front. Sometimes you guys will have one in your dash, and if you guys don't have one in your dash, then there should be one in your center console. So this one actually has a USB on it, so you guys aren't losing your phone charger if you plug it into your front one, which is really nice. It's pretty disappointing when they don't include that, so that is a huge bonus there. And then the cable is just a simple rubber small cable, and since it is pretty thin, you are able to tuck it around so you guys don't have to see it. So as you guys can see, you can't really see many wires besides up there, and that's just because I live in Texas, so the adhesive little stickers that help hold it up kind of melt away. So that's the only thing that I found, but if you guys tuck it under this fabric better, you guys won't see it at all. So after I wired it there, I routed the wire all the way down here under the dash. As you guys could see, a little bit slipped out here, but it's just tucked all along that door panel, and every car is different and then I tucked it there and then up the window and simply wrap it around to where I want. So we have it right there on the front and it's kind of out of the way. If you're sitting back acting like you're driving, you can't really see much. Sorry for the dark footage, but I hope that was able to kind of explain how I set this up and how I was able to hide almost all the wires. Now, if you guys are still sticking around just to see me almost get in a car crash, well, thank you, I guess. All right, so here's that test footage for that dash cam. So like I was saying, I do have a link to this down below if you guys want to check this out. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you guys found this helpful, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like button down below and subscribe for more content like this.